Look, I need to find out who killed Zeke and make him pay. It's the only way this is ever going to go away. Now, this is a teaser we've previously looked at from the perspective of Monet and the trust issue between Tariq St. Patrick and also how she'll be leaning on Tariq more than ever in Ghost Season 3. But I make it a point of how we always need to consider different perspectives by looking at certain character decisions and situations from a different lens, and this scene certainly proves my case. The first teaser we showed the conversation between Monet and Tariq, but when you zoom out in this latest teaser, you can actually see Lorenzo watching Tariq deep in conversation with Monet. So in this video, although we'll break down the extended conversation between Monet and Tariq St. Patrick, we're going to break down Lorenzo's perspective on this whole situation and why he's got a very worried look on his face. Tariq, you always seem to know something. If I knew something, you would have already known. So in this extended teaser, Monet says that she needs to find out who killed Zeke and Lorenzo was searching, but he hasn't come back with shit. And that's because he is the killer. But Mode made it clear that she needs to find out who killed Zeke so she can make them pay. That's the only way she can make things right. And whether you call it revenge or justice, both can be perceived the same. Now what makes this teaser different is we see Lorenzo walking through in the background and seeing Mone speaking to Tariq St. Patrick and he does cut across a very worried look. A look of he needs to do something quick before Mone realises it was him who killed Zeke. Now we know Mone will stop at nothing for revenge which is why I wouldn't be surprised if we see Lorenzo potentially finding a fall guy to take the rap for Zeke's murder. And this is who Monet could possibly be killing at the bar. But notice how Kane isn't looking at Monet taking the kill shot. He looks directly at Lorenzo instead. And it really does make you wonder, what does Kane know? I know you were the man behind Zeke's death, but you just let someone else take the fall and be killed for your stupid actions. That's the only way I can see Lorenzo buying some time. And I say buying some time because we all know eventually this secret will shake the entire Tahadas worse than the Diana's dinner scene. Now Kane isn't exactly perfect either and we all know the mistakes and decisions he's made that have led to a catalogue of consequences for the Tahadas. But this is a trait which he unfortunately gets from his father. In season 1, Monet called Lorenzo and told him he was too harsh on the way he had him beat down in prison and she said, he's mine. Words which actually made the power fans believe Kane may not have been Lorenzo's but of course that is a theory that's been put to bed. But in this exclusive clip, Monet says Tariq St. Patrick seems to know everything and Tariq says if he did, she'd already know. And something we have to mention is, Tariq will know how Monet feels, not from a mother's perspective, but losing his twin sister Reina, he knows exactly the damage and pain this caused Tasha and Ghost. Losing a child is never easy, but Monet has someone in front of her that has lost countless of loved ones, a father and a sibling. Albeit we can counter argue and say Tariq had a hand in all the demise. But that isn't the particular point of this video. He knows the pain she's going through and he's going to be there more than Lorenzo will. Whether Tariq does eventually find out the truth, I'm sure at some stage he will. But I don't think he'll necessarily be the first. But regardless, he's got bigger shit to worry about. How does he turn the attention away from himself? And as I mentioned before, the only way I see him doing so is by having someone else take the fall. Who that could be, who knows. But Lorenzo will no doubt happily sacrifice anybody else apart from his kids to save his own ass. But eventually this secret does have to come out because there has to be justice and revenge and Monet's made it clear. The only way this is going to go away is if she makes the man behind Zeke's death pay. But this is where I do have to disagree with Monet. Killing the person who killed your son doesn't make the pain disappear. You may feel a sense of justice has been served but the pain will always be with her forever just like we saw with Tasha, Ghost and Tariq St. Patrick. All three of those characters have had hallucinations at different moments following Reyna's death. But where we saw Ghost and Tasha dealing with Reyna's death differently, one thing that they have in common with Monet is revenge. Something that Tariq did eventually get for his sister when he was the one to pull the trigger on Ray Ray. But that's a breakdown of the exclusive clip that was released that shows a different perspective to this conversation between Monet and Tariq St. Patrick. It's the one where we see Lorenzo cut across a very worried look and that's because he should be. The moment it's revealed that he was behind Zeke's death, I think it's curtains. So drop all your thoughts and perspectives down below on this teaser now that you've seen it through a different lens. And of course, if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 2 Ghost and Power Universe related. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.